everyone. So today we are going to be practicing Desmos because for our next few lessons we're really going to be using Desmos to figure out different types of graphs. We're going to do some scatter plots. We're going to do line of best fit. And so to do that we're going to be using Desmos calculator. And this will be the same thing that you will use for an end of course exam. So to get there I will have it linked for you, but if not, you can go to desmos.com. So that's D E S M O S.com. And then you're going to click on graphing calculator. And so you already got some exposure to this when we were doing the graphing lines killing zombies activity. But now we're actually going to also be plotting points. But first, just a reminder I can plot. All kinds of equations using this and so you can do it in slope intercept form by pressing y equals let's say 3x plus 4. I can do that. I can also add another equation by clicking below and I can also type fractions into here. So let's say I had y equals let's say I want a negative 3 fourths hit the negative sign and then to do 3 fourths I would do 3 slash 4 and it already makes that fraction for you and so I see here if I just did that I get my hoi horizontal line or if I press the right arrow key I can get to the side and I can press X minus 2 so I can really use any equations in here and you can have fun messing around with that. You can also do it in standard form just like we did in that other activity. So let's say I had 3x plus 5y equals 2 and I get that equation. And then if I want them to go away I can go ahead and just click on the x and it goes away. I can also change colors so if I click on this red Never mind, that makes it go away as well. So you can hide them if you want. Or if you click on that wheel and you click on the red, you can go ahead and change color. So let's say I want that to be purple. I can do that too. But what we're going to be really using this for is creating a table. So to create a table in here, you're going to press on this plus button. And then you're going to click on table. And so it already labels your x and your y for you. So let's say for my x's I have negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then let's say for my y's I have 8, negative 4, 2, uh, 6, and 1. And so I see all of those points appeared over here. So like my 0, negative 4, that's over here. My 3, 1, that's over here. However, we have to be careful. If you notice on my graph over here, I only have 1, 2, 3, 4 points. But on my table, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. So that means I need to zoom out so I can actually see all of my points. To do that, you're going to click on this minus button. So I can go ahead and click zoom out. And there we go. I have all of mine. All five points. Instead of using this, you could also use your trackpad to kind of help you zoom in and out as well. And then I can go ahead and view any part. If you click on the screen and move your other finger, you can move this up and down in any way that you need to. Okay, so for your assignment, I want you to practice doing both of these things. So I want you to type that equation that is in the assignment, and then you are going to create that table. And then once you're done, you're going to take a screenshot of your screen and go ahead and submit it. And make sure when you're taking the screenshot that all points are included. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.